Nice, Mike is hooked up like second cast. Just got out here and he said it's a good one. Yeah. Dude, what? Second cast? My name's Robert Field and I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. I'm up. Nice. This time I'm on a month-long expedition across Australia and New Zealand with the boys from Fish Village. Hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up. You're watching field trips down under. Nice work, bro. Yeah. Look, at this. Yeah. Look at this. All right, we made it. It's about a 10 kilometer drive. This is the Maclay River. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a lot wider than I thought it was gonna be. The place looks sweet, so we'll basically be fishing like small soft plastics, that sort of thing, jigs. Uh, I mean, it sounds like inshore fishing, like redfish, speckled trout, kind of like bass fishing. Sort of a mix of all those things, a little light tackle fun. Scott here, he's the inshore expert of the group. He just fished a, uh, a comp, a tournament, uh, just a few days ago for, uh, for bass. So uh, he's got a bunch of lures and stuff he's gonna let us use. Daniel here is a local. He's kind of our unofficial guide for the day. Hopefully he's gonna put us on some fish. Flatheads, brim, whiting, whatever else we can get into. Whatever feels like biting. I'm not picky today. G'day mate. Can I get a couple of lures? Yeah, g'day copper. Uh, what have we got to buy today? Uh, so far we've got squid jigs, a uh, bit of semiki bottleicious, a um, lot of other things, and um, a couple of uh, marbles. <laughs> Uh, all set on the marbles, thanks. Yeah, I'll take uh, something that catches fish. Is that a bugs? You ever seen one of these, bro? Is that a bugs? Bugs fishing here in Australia? Let me use that. I'm using that. What? I'm, I, bought all, I bought this all the way from Louisiana. You ain't taking my, you ain't taking my gear. Come on, mate. That's not how you rig it. What is it? Yeah, this has Heath. Heath. Heath from Yak Tribe told me to rig it exactly like this. What do you mean it's not how you rig it? He was my guy. Heath rigs it like that? Yeah, and then, what's his name? Um, Who's that guy that everybody knows, I can't remember his name, Rex, told me, what are you using that for? You don't rig it like that. Yeah. And gave me a popping cord and we caught like so many rigs, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen to Rex. Don't listen to Heat. Got an eighth ounce jig head and gulp. This is totally in my comfort zone, it's just like back home, really. Damn. You should have brought some of my gambler viewers. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same. Hmm. I don't know if I put something in my bit and maybe one around the bridge bit. Really? Yeah. What's gonna eat that? Juice. On what? On on heavier? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How heavy? This is only a quarter. Well, yeah. that's, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. No, it looks great. I got sent with me. Hey, yeah. you know wise words of Kevin Bendek? Elephants eat peanuts, man. There's three different species of flying foxes in here. Just too cool to see these things. They are going to town, chattering, just going absolutely nuts. It's too wild. There are hundreds of them right here. They are loud. It's the middle of the day, but they're all awake. They're all uh, scratching each other, fighting, scrapping, making crazy noises. This place is wild. Right here at the boat ramp. Enough of that though. Let's go try to catch some fish before you run out of daylight. So started this bridge, yeah? Okay. Right. Scott's already hooked up. Not quite as big as uh what is this? It's got a black spot? Oh. Well, it's gone. <laughs> Moses perch. Well, that was a Moses perch. It came off, fell off the boat. Nice. Mike is hooked up like second cast. Just got out here and he said it's a good one. Nice, dude. Yeah. Dude, what? Second cast? Look at that, man. Nice work, bro. Yeah. Well, that was easy. Y'all want to go home? <laughs> yeah, we definitely want to keep them.
Marty said he just caught a fish of a lifetime second cast. Now that's uh, not a bad way to start this afternoon sesh, eh? Nice, so Mike just caught 76 centimeter flathead. These things, uh, I don't even really know. Lizard fish, they're, they're like bottom dwellers, but they're good to eat, so we're gonna eat this guy, but they're saying this is like fish of a lifetime on his second cast, man. Nicely done. Look at that, man. All these local guys were super impressed by this fish. Nice work, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be dinner, huh? Yes, sir. Nice. He said to bleed them, make sure them help them taste good. You got a knife? Yeah? yeah. Sweet. I'm just trying to just cut his gills. Right? Cut his gills, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh! Oh! Dude, that was hard. Oh, wow. I can't believe I didn't hook him. There we go. No! No way. That felt heavy, man. Just missed uh, what felt like two pretty decent fish in a row. Poor execution. And tried to uh, get redemption here. Fish on. I don't think it's a monster like Mike's, but uh, got something on. I saw a bait bus on the surface there and I cast out, let it sink below. A few hops and there it was. Actually, I really wasn't doing anything when he hit it. I felt him nibbling it. This is a much heavier setup, but uh, I see him. I can't tell what it is. Not that I would know. <laughs> what is, it's a remora. <laughs> is it really? It's a remora. <laughs> New species. <laughs> Look at that, so that is a remora. These uh, are basically what you see when you see a, like a shark. He's got those things, those fish hanging off him. So this right here is like a sucker. And I mean, really, you could, you could stick this on your arm or on your back and it would suck to you, but it'll actually kind of mess you up. It'll make you bleed, so I'm not gonna do it. What are the odds? What are the odds? Remora, that's a new one, new species. Hey, uh, paddle guy, you wanna let me stick this guy to your back? Demonstrate to the audience uh, how it works? Stick it on their butt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you'll put on a bikini, we'll stick it to your butt. Really bizarre, bizarre creature. But yeah, you've seen them anytime you see a shark and they've got those fish kind of stuck to their sides. These are them. And that's that kind of sticky plate. And they basically gobble up scraps and whatever the sharks eat. Anything that falls off them, they grab it up. Uh, I've never heard of people catching them on artificials, really. But uh, yeah, interesting. Let this guy go. pretty cool to be here fishing looking at just hundreds and hundreds of these giant fruit bats this place is wild I too often find myself judging every fishing trip solely by the fish cop but as I stare out at the flying foxes as they leave the safety of the trees for their nightly fruit hunt it's honestly hard to be frustrated by the lack of fish to hit my boat This moment reinforces within me something that I already knew. The real catch is simply in coming here, in being in this exact place, in this exact moment. That monster flathead on ice is just a bonus. Fishing's been pretty tough so far, but Australia has already exceeded my expectations. This is a special place, truly. So cool. I absolutely love it here. So these have got like poison spines. Well, not poisonous, they just sting you. But let's see this one there on the side of the head. Let's see, they got two on each side, and then they got them all down, all down here. You get stung like them, they just hurt for ages and they bleed. But if you get stung, you can just like rub it on their belly a bit, and it makes it stop stinging. Huh, crazy. Bit of helpful information after you've been stung. Right. <laughs> Good to know now that you've manhandled it. <laughs> right. All right, so the activity seems to be picking up in the afternoon, so we're kind of taking our time this morning. Yesterday was a long day, kind of basically two fishing sessions. So we're uh, kind of just taking our sweet time, getting everything together, getting it back ready for offshore. So Mato here is gonna fillet up that flathead that Mike caught last night, that monster flathead. We're gonna enjoy that guy for uh, dinner tonight. You're welcome. Could feed a village with that thing. <laughs> a fish village. <laughs> 
Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Are we gonna have the slimies for the appetizer? Yeah, we are, man. That is a weird fish. Yeah, exactly. hey, hold on. How to flay a flathead with Martin Gittens. This is my first one. <laughs> I already would have gotten it wrong. It's a weirdly shaped fish, man. Is that all meat? Yeah. All the way down? It's a lot more meat than I thought. Yeah, they're pretty good. This one is so blunt, eh? Yeah. See if Scott's gonna be more. Yeah, that's not sharp at all. Quick intermission while we find a knife that actually has an edge. Oh yeah, nice work. That's weird to get the skin off that because it like curves. Yeah, yeah. I've never done a, I've never had a skin of fillet that wasn't like flat on the skin side. They usually come up really easy on the smaller ones. You can just like, like I don't normally do ones this big, but you can just um, like flick it on with the skin salon and then you can just flick it over and then just pull the skin off. Oh, like just, just pull get, it off? Yeah, you just get the knife started, then you can just pull it off. But Mike cut a monster and it's gonna be a little different. Nicely done. Feed that to the kangaroos? I think so, man. We dump it in the ocean. As we prepare to cook up our catch, I'm reminded yet again about the casual way Australia can wow you. This goanna walks through camp like it owns the place, exhibiting zero fear of us or the commotion we're making. The local boys tell me this one's colors are impressive and that this is just a little guy. Good day, mates. Dinner time here in Southwest Rocks. Having a very authentic dinner of uh, flathead, some more kanga bangas, and some snags. Which he's claiming is another word for sausages. I never know if he's just making this stuff up or if this is actually like terms here. It's, I would say it's 50-50, but that's a lie. It's about 90% BS. 10% of the time is true. Shane here is our, our BSometer. We kind of look to him, and if he's laughing, we know he's just making this stuff up. Snags? Sausages? Okay. Yeah? Snags. Doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Do you want to know what this is, man? Doritos? Doritos. We actually call this Australian five spice. You can put Doritos on anything. Like Put them on the Kanga bangers? Dor yeah, well you could have Doritos bangers, um, <laughs> Doritos sandwich. You can have it for breakfast, you can have it for lunch, you can have it for dinner. What are you doing? <laughs> Australian five spots. <laughs> are you going to put the fish in that? Well, you're going to have to wait until the end of the show to see that one, mate. <laughs> no spoilers here. <laughs> You're gonna use that to batter the fish. I am. Yeah. We're using Doritos, Doritos, to batter the flathead that Mike caught. It's good to know that if the fishing thing doesn't work out, we have a future on Food Network. We got the, we got the plan B sorted. Cedar plank and Dorito <laughs> batter. <laughs> I just got this so we look professional, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people don't know this, but you can actually eat raw chicken. You just only get salmonella poisoning if you lick your fingers while you're cooking it. Really? Yeah. Weird. Yeah, that is weird. This is like when I get sued because 74 people contracted salmonella <laughs> from eating raw chicken. This is one of those catch and cook recipes. It's gonna be a tough sell. You know what's funny about this is actually my second trip ever with Rex, we caught some speckled trout and didn't have anything to cook it with. And we used butter and we took white cheddar Cheez-Its and we crushed them up just like that and put Cheez-Its on the trout and cooked it in butter. And it was actually was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually awful. Wow. <laughs> Doritos crusted uh, flathead. Doritos, huh? Just, just how Mama used to make. Yeah. She does look like really good every meat. Every one, brother. Every one. No like flour, then eggs, then Doritos. 
Oh yeah. That's the sizzle we're looking for. <laughs> Dorito crusted flathead tacos. This camping though, really. That's you just gotta improvise. Um, sure, but we should add more oil for the next ones. Yeah, yeah, I plan on because it soaks it all up because of the Doritos. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Have you not cooked with Doritos before? No, I've never cooked with Doritos before. This is new. This is a bit. This is a bit worse than my normal like five star kitchen that I cook on at home. Now. Right. I I guess that. But you can keep complaining. <laughs> Grab a plate, bro. Hey, uh, tacos up. Mike, yogurt? What is that? You got cheese, lettuce, and mayonnaise. Oh, <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> I mean, when you say something like that, yeah, this is actually good. You caught it. You you earned it. Doritos crusted flathead. Coming to a five-star restaurant near you. Mm. <laughs> Mike says it's pretty good. I'm still skeptical. We'll Still see. Done. Take a video of that, man. That's yeah, yeah, that looks way better than the last take. Yeah. Take two. Yeah, there's more than a dollop of oil in the pan. Just see, now, now they won't burn like the last ones, too. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. I'm doing it right. He's got that, that Doritos crusted fish and the sausage, the snag. In one. I like your style. In one, I like baby. your In snack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> little greens. The health kick. It's a hit, man. I know, bro. It's a hit. I think I've done the first thing right. <laughs> Door toss crusted fish. Everyone's raving about it. Dude. Australian five spice there. Eh? Oh, that's good. That's actually really, really good. You're gonna want, like every other kitchen cook I ever do the rest of my life. I'm like, well, the trick is. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. That's a beautiful sunset, man. The Doritos crusted fish. It's epic sunset. You can't beat it. Who needs a marlin when you got this? You know what I'm saying? This is actually really good, dude. Like, I was prepared to, like, lie and joke and, and you know, like, mmm. But it's actually really good. That's what you would like. Like, behind closed doors, this is how I'm gonna eat fish forever, I think. I'll get another one for you. You gonna... Salt and vinegar chips? Yeah. Have you hit that? Coming up next... <laughs> Whole another episode. <laughs> Whole another catch and cook. Exact same recipe, exact same location. Salt and vinegar chips. Use that one in five spots. Stay tuned. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Doritos crusted flathead tacos gets a gets a A plus I'd say from the group. We all actually really loved it. Marty's working on uh, version number two with New Zealand five spice, aka salt and vinegar chips. I'll spare you guys the mundane details. That's the creepiest salt and vinegar chip. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> In other news, salt and vinegar chip <laughs> sales plummet <Yeah. laughs> after no, Marty's please, creepy ass. Please don't refer to my product in your uh, videos. Yeah, you're gonna get a cease and desist. Please never again. Feed these to your family. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so it, feel for us. We have two more weeks with this guy. Look at this. You're making me uncomfortable. There's kids watching this show, Marty. <laughs> Coming up next episode, we're back out chasing Marlin offshore with the legend himself, Grant Ashwell. Grant says these are the conditions we've kind of been waiting for. He so. says conditions are looking perfect for billfish, but they begin to turn as the day wears on. Yeah! Fish on! The boys say there's a snake here at the toilets. Oh. Do you know what kind it is? Brown. Brown. Yeah, it's a little brown, I think. What's that mean? Yeah, it is a brown. Yeah, you don't want to give it a mother there. Really? Yeah. The smaller they are, the more venomous, too. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's mess with it. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, no, maybe not. Oh. 
It's really venomous, really? Yeah, yeah like, like... Truly? Yeah, you'd have to go to hospital real quick. Yeah. Oh, sweet. That's exciting. <laughs> I'll really oh, remember that next time I'm going to the shower. <laughs> Right there. He's, he's, Look at this. Yeah, he's yeah, all barefoot, flip-flops. <laughs> now he walks right out because he was worried about kangaroos. Oh man, he's looking at me now. Yeah, so here we are at the male campers, the showers, the restrooms. And there is a uh, venomous snake right here at the uh, entrance. Though he be small, he be mighty. I want to get closer, but I'm not going to. This whole trip I've been joking about how all the deadliest everything lives in Australia. And there's a venomous snake right here at the bathrooms. Sleep tight. <laughs> That's why I've been uh, zipping up the tent every night, just in case.